It has been a year since Aba Sugaki started working at the Ingle Jump Game Company. In that time, she and her sister co-workers in the character design department have worked hard to release the company's newest game, Fairy Story 3. With their latest tile now complete, a new project must begin, starting with a contest to decide the character design for the upcoming game. Through hard work, dedication, and some guidance from the previous character design, Ko Yagami, Aba wins the contest and begins her new role as lean character designer. However, her new job is not an easy one. In addition to have extra work and longer hours, Abba questions whether she is the right fit for the new job. In New Game Season 2, continues Abba overcomes her inexperience with the help of her friends and co-workers willingly to face any challenges to make Eagle Jump's newest creation a cutesy game called Petco. This anime has about 12 episodes. It premiered July 11, 2017 to September 26, 2017. Based on a four-panel manga series, its theme is comedy, size of life, in game. Each episode is 20 minutes per episode and we're PG-13. Now let's get started into the review. We're back with another anime review and today we're doing the anime review of the second season of New Game. Now talking about from New Game from first season, second season, I feel like there was a major improvement with the storyline. Especially I feel like one of the most adequate strong point of the sequel is that the right battle between cute and funny and then transition that to a more serious worth ethic environment specifically in New Game, we have a full cast of all female characters working hard to achieve their dreams in the video game industry, all while becoming closer with their co-workers and having a great experience while doing that. And as the reader, we definitely see those, as the viewer, I feel like, and if you read the manga, we can see both things sharing their feelings and cheering for their success. Now, talking about the characters, I love everyone in New Game, especially how, I like how New Game specifically balances all the characters with their given screen time and also mix in the other supporting cast as well because I feel like no matter who you pick in New Game versus from season one to now to season two you'll have a fan favorite and I think the sequel also new introduces like two new characters to the cast of the forms of Momiji and Narumi two close friends who add new dynamics and new experience and personality to the group of the ever-growing cast such as Abba and her best friend Nini respectively. I think also what I like about it is the pastel colorful vibe that it gives with the animation and the art style including the background. I also love the intro and the outro both from season one and season two. It just plays so well with the new ever-growing environment of new season two for a new game and I feel like the sequel you know has that new feeling of ambition and new growth and I think the anime just did just that. I feel like also when you're watching New Game, you know, you're kind of seeing the ins and out of the video game industry, like how they do character design, debugging, picking characters. And it might be a little bit different, um, you know, from a mixed culture of females and males in a video game industry versus this is the all male industry. And I feel like all the characters have their own type of growth and development. Um, their particular character from season one, who you'll be introduced to, and if you know, then you know the growth I'm talking about. Um, she makes big strides of trying to, you know, go out of her comfort zone. And along with the boss, Yagami Ko, um, she was one of my favorites, and she did a massive 360 improvement from how she was in, in season one. The art style is very good. Like I love the art style. I love the environment. I love the music. And I feel like overall, I can't wait to see if they ever did want to maybe in the future progress to a season three. But the first two seasons are really spot on. It did really well to show how like, you know, tossing the torch to a new generation of video game designers and, and lead artists. And I feel like art directors, I think the anime does a good way of, you know, turning down some of the mild fan series. But also the first couple episodes of the new series, you know, kind of off the new of experiment of where they left off at and how they catch up and how all the characters have stepped up in the in the character lead design department and how like everyone around them kind of works in a nice organized system to develop a game get the out of your process and let it hit the shelves and then work on a new game that's kind of like how like the process with any anime or any video game in type of industry now i feel like with the characters two new characters that are added on to this season managed to create a genuine type of new New, not new, not new excitement, but new, new experiences and new introductions that these characters can help shift around the crew in general as it keeps on growing. And I feel like they're having the returning cast go through some changes and adding more to the mix. I feel like also it just helps people, especially the characters, overcome the things that they're struggling with. For example, one character, Himufu, she's put in charge of the team to, and she has to get over fear of talking to people because she's never really talk to anyone she's always talked to them through the chat or she says other talks for her i think that's one way of showing her care development like how she was shy and reserved and only outspoken when she 
text of people but now that she's given this new position i feel like she's may have more chance to grow out of her shell i think it's a really good time to show really massive care development along with the story progression as well to keep the pacing of the story going really well i think the anime does that and overall i feel like in new game second season how it should be how it progresses and how it keeps the same form but changes enough to where it feels like you're not watching the first season all over again it does make a good effort to where it can be a bit of resistance to the sheer amount of change happening but with the first season it became you know mediocre but i definitely enjoyed the new season of new new game too and i think overall when you watch the second season at first it's still like a little bit of self-containment but in a good way because you're still filled with these a cast of characters who are adorable in their own right but also seeing them overcome a lot of struggles and obstacles that are put in the way and watch them overcome it and how they adjust to their role in society but also being a part of a really huge video game industry producing these type of games that all their fans and audience will fall in love with so definitely check out new game season two if you haven't already and let me know what you think but until then i will see you soon bye